Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Nellie. And today we are learning about the parables of Jesus. What's a parable? Is that like a pair of two bowls that you use to eat cereal in the morning? <laughs> no, not a pair of bowls. It's a parable. Oh. A parable is a made up story that's meant to teach us something. Jesus told us many parables in the Bible. Oh, that sounds really neat. What kind of stories did he tell? Did he tell stories about unicorns? Oh, or maybe a story about two big marshmallows that became best friends. Well, you're going to find out what kind of stories Jesus told today. But first, we're going to sing a song. Yay! So let's all stand up. And sing a song to Jesus! <laughs> this song is called Let It Shine. You guys, we're going to start by clapping our hands. You ready? Here we go. All right, now this song is all about how we can shine our light for Jesus. You guys, Jesus loves you so much and we can show the world how much we love him when we shine our light. Let's sing. Our light is from you. Sing it out. Our light is from you. Together we won't hide when we're living as it gets up light. Sing your light is ever brighter. Your light is ever brighter. Jesus, shine through us so we can forever shine on everyone around us. Sing shine your light. Put your hand up. You guys sing out, you are our savior. You are our savior who rescued us from the darkness that was our sin. Our light is from you. Our light is from you. Together we won't hide when we're living as it gets up light. Your light is ever brighter, sing it out. Your light is ever brighter. Jesus, shine through us so we can forever shine. Shine your light, here we go. Shine your light, light, light. Make it bright, bright, bright. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Don't let it hide, hide, hide. Let it shine, shine, shine. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Gonna stand out like a city on a hill. We all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, we're gonna sing that out again. Let me hear ya. Let's go. We're gonna stand out like a city on a hill. We all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, sing out, shine your light. Really loud. Job singing that song. That was great. You can all sit down now. Is it time for us to hear a parable now? Yes, it is. We are going to hear one of the stories that Jesus told us in the Bible, and it's a really good one. Oh, yay! I'm ready! I already have my listening ears on and my thinking cap. That's good. You're going to need your thinking cap because remember, Jesus tells us these stories to teach us something. So, friends, put on your listening ears and your thinking caps too. And now it's time for us to hear a parable of Jesus! Yay! <laughs> Stories of the Bible. The parable of the unforgiving servant. This is Jesus. Hey-oh! 
who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, The kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, please be patient with me and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, yo. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please. His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No. But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. Wow, Jesus tells amazing stories! He really does. And did you learn anything from this story? Yes, I did. That's great. That's what Jesus wants. And you know, the more we listen to Jesus' teaching, the more we understand. How do you know that? Because the Bible says so. It does? Where? In Matthew 13, 12, Jesus said, To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. Oh, wow, that's a lot of knowledge. Yep. And I think we should learn that verse by singing it. Oh, yay! Okay, everyone, stand up on your feet, not your head. <laughs> and let's sing Matthew 13, 12. Yeah! This is Matthew 13, 12. We're going to start by marching like this. And let me hear you say, hey! And hey, one more time, really loud.
Great job learning that verse through singing and dancing. Yeah. You can all sit down now. Hey, I've been thinking about the parable Jesus told. Yeah? Yeah, and I think there were some things I still don't get. Well, there's a lot of things you can learn from Jesus' parables, and I know somewhere we can go to learn more. Really? Where? Scuppet Scout Camp. Oh, I love Scuppet Scout Camp. Hey, can we practice the Scuppet Scout salute to get ready to go? Sure. We can clap twice, and then howl like... Whales! <laughs> no, not whales. Wolves. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay, let's do this. Everyone, do it with us. Ow! <laughs> now I think we're almost ready to go to Scuppet Scout Camp. Yay! Let's put on our listening ears. And our thinking caps. And let's go to Scuppet Scout Camp. Yay! Hi friends, I'm Maddie. And I'm Winston. And I'm Zara. Welcome to Scuppet Scout Camp. Hey guys, should we do the Scuppet Scout salute? Yeah! <laughs> Great! Okay, so we're going to clap twice and then howl like a wolf. Ready? Howl! <laughs> that was great! We're so glad you guys joined us at Scuppet Scout Camp today. We're telling stories around the campfire. Oh yeah, I want to get my storyteller patch. What kind of stories are we telling? We're actually going to tell one of Jesus' parables. Um, Maddie, what's a parable? A parable is a story that Jesus told us to teach us something. Tonight, I want to tell you a parable about a king and a servant who had trouble with forgiveness. What's forgiveness? Forgiveness is when we let go of all the bad feelings towards someone and we don't punish someone for the bad. Oh, oh, I get it. So what's the story for today? Well, the story is about a king who forgave a servant who owed him one million dollars. Whoa, that's more dollars than I've ever seen! I know, me too! The king forgave him, but then, guess what the servant did? Oh, uh, what'd he do? The servant went to someone who owed him just a thousand dollars and demanded that he give it back. Oh no! Yeah, that made the king super mad and the king threw the servant in prison. Yikes! That's a sad story. I wish it ended differently. I know, me too. But that story shows us what we shouldn't do. We shouldn't be like the servant who didn't forgive others when he was forgiven of so much. God has forgiven us so much, so we should forgive others. Right, I know that God has forgiven me, so I will do my best to forgive others. Me too, but I don't owe a king one million dollars. Hmm. Well, let's think of a way to tell the story in a way that makes sense to you. Hmm, has someone ever done something wrong to you? Oh yeah! What happened? Hector broke my leg out! An accident, of course, but I forgave him! Wow, that's great that you forgave Hector, Winston. But what if he went and didn't forgive someone else? Oh, that would be bad! Yeah! Winston, why don't you tell us a story of what that would look like? Okay! There once was a pink scuppet who was playing Legos with a red scuppet. The red scuppet had built a totally awesome, amazing Lego set. There was a tractor and a helicopter and even a motorcycle. The pink scuppet stood up and knocked the table over, shattering the Lego set. The red scuppet was so mad. He said the pink scuppet would have to put it back together all by himself. But the pink scuppet said, please red scuppet, I could never do that on my own! Please forgive me! The red scuppet felt bad for the pink scuppet, so he forgave him. Then the pink scuppet went outside to paint the house. A certain yellow scuppet was walking down the street, practicing her ballet moves. The yellow scuppet ran into the pink scuppet's ladder, sending the pink scuppet and all the paint tumbling to the ground! The pink scuppet was so mad! He said that the yellow scuppet would have to buy new paint and do the job herself. The yellow scuppet said, please pink scuppet, I don't have any money to buy new paint, but I will work to get it. The pink scuppet said, no, I want it now. I will never forgive you. Then the pink scuppet put the yellow scuppet in time out forever. When the red scuppet heard all about this, he sent for the pink scuppet and said, You meanie scuppet! I forgave you of so much! Since you couldn't forgive the yellow scuppet, I no longer forgive you! So the red scuppet 
put the pink scuppet in timeout until he could rebuild the whole Lego set, which would take him forever. The end. <laughs> that was great, Winston. Congratulations, you get your Scuppet Scout storytelling patch. <laughs> Winston's story reminds us that we should forgive others. We shouldn't be mean to others and punish them because we know that God has forgiven us of so much. He sure has. I will remember to forgive others. Yeah, and I will too. That's great. Friends, remember that God loves you so much and that he will forgive you when you ask him to. So, we should forgive others. We'll see you next time, Scuppet Scouts. Let's do one last Scuppet Scout salute, okay? Okay. <laughs> that was so fun! I loved hearing those stories around the campfire, and I think I understand Jesus' parable more now. That's great, Melly. Friends, remember that Jesus wants to teach you so much through his parables. And when we listen to those stories, we will learn so, so much! So make sure you keep your listening ears on yeah. and your thinking caps with you so mm -hmm. you can learn more about the parables of Jesus. We love you so much. Yes, we do. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>